Welcome to the round 22 review for Supercoach 2023. It's George from Fantasy Take TV. Uh, slowly getting there, another two weeks to go, but uh, this week 2,432 and into rank 1,631. Um, quite a pleasant surprise to have a good week this week. Uh, was a little shocking. Thought it would blow out a little bit in the ranks with a, you know, fielding a Weddle D6 and a few dodgy premiums here and there like a, like a Ben Keys, who we didn't even end up fielding. Um, I looped him and Hobbs and took Hobbs' 84. So yeah, that Hobbs pick has just given me grief non-stop the past few weeks. But regardless, yeah, good to have a good week in Supercoach, even though you're not really playing for much. I was actually following or following my cash leagues quite closely, getting excited because I got up in the cashies this week. Then I realized that the only all the money goes to total points, basically, and then you only get cash if you win the actual league, So which I'm not going to do. So I was following that for nothing, basically. Um, not going to win, I think, with a wet or D6, but a few top teams in the league. So, yeah. So, yeah, we go. But, uh, yeah, good to have a good week uh, this week. Um, basically, dodged Cogs. No DC. No Libba. Um, no, I think a lot of people captain Sorongo against West Coast. Didn't have that. Um, not too sure what else uh, off the top of my head. Like a George Hugh at 142. Like... Two weeks ago, I was watching him thinking, like, what is going on with this guy? Like, what happened to George Hewitt? And one of the best, the best game I've ever seen him play uh, on the weekend. But obviously helps when Chera and Walsh are out. And uh, yeah, he looked unbelievable. So good to have the old Hewitt back, or from last year anyway. And then Tom Green, I assume most people traded him and don't really have a path to get him back in at this point of the year. Uh, he's been very good for two weeks. So um yeah, had the choice between taking Hobbs 84. Hobbs, uh, yeah, 108 Dream Team, 84 Super Coach. So, finally had a good game, but not, oh, not didn't get the points on the board. So, it would be nice to get something from Hobbsy against North, though. But, yeah, this week, Giants away. I'll probably just straight bench him. I don't think we can loop. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how we go. So... Um, yeah, definitely tough year. Aweta was really good covering for Dacos, but it's interesting just looking across leagues, quite a few people have fallen apart this week, whether it be uh, injuries, like feeling like a Chessa D6 or no D6 at all. Um, people with like Walsh on the bench, stuff like that, and then Dacos as well. So it's yeah, definitely been a pretty tough year overall, but uh, already planning for next year, I suppose. Already uh, draft up the team. I put it in Discord. So you're getting excited for next year already. But uh, still at this year. So we should be thinking about uh, this year. But I think, yeah, taking a bit of a back seat in terms of like podcast and, and midweek videos at the moment. And um, yeah, gear up for next year. So I guess we'll look at the defenders. So yeah, Stuart. I need a bit more from Stuart, but that's all right. Uh, Dawson, Sinclair, very good. Dawson, what's his five round? I think it's been like, what, 110, 112. I think he'll be an upgrade target this year. Now, I didn't check the CBAs, but if Matt Crouch and Laird are going to hog all the CBAs, I think Dawson, and I know it happened last week, uh, he could play more, a bit more wing, which he can score well on, um, but it's much harder to score there for Dawson against these like 80% CBA mids. So he'll be like mid only next year. Maybe upgrade target. We'll see what happens there, but... Uh, yeah, he's fun to watch, Dawson, but uh, kicking is hasn't been as good as uh, what it's been in previous years. Hillerberg was okay. It's had 15 touches for 35 at one point. Just misses easy handballs and contests and stuff like that. But uh, he's been he's been okay. I think he's given us a high 80s average for 370k. Given the position we were in, I think it's okay. But um, yeah, like a Ryan and a... I can't remember how Houston went, but Ryan didn't do too well. So um, that D6 slot isn't super strong, unless you've got like a Newman or even like Doherty, who was good but um, injured or subbed out. Uh, in the midfield, uh, it was hard to pick a captain this week. We went for Bont and Pelly. I just thought Bont versus English is kind of 50-50. In hindsight, it was obviously English, but Bont... Um, playing for Brownlow. Would have saw Petrarca probably doesn't poll. Figured we'd see a big game from Bont against Hawks who are pretty competitive and they didn't really work out so I can't see Bont getting votes this game. Um, uh, Merritt, uh, 96, played North. 
as I'm half about to sneeze. He was a bit underwhelming, but he got tagged by Turner. So I'd love to pick Merritt next year. I just think it's hard to start him when he just gets tagged all the time. Like it's, you can't not tag him basically if I'm opposition opposition coach because he's so far ahead of the next best player at Essendon. Our lead was solid. Uh, Andy, I didn't watch the Derby or Derby. I don't know who could watch that with Melbourne and Carlton on unless you're a Perth resident. Uh, Green was really good. Uh, I think the the break has done him some good. Just looks refreshed out there. Uh, Jack Steele is like, what is this going on? Like, uh, you honestly, you don't know if you're going to get like a 50 or a 130. Uh, and it feels like it's more likely you're going to get like a crappy 80 score. So yeah, three round of 82 now. So we got that nice five round average of whatever it was, like one was it 120 or something. It was really good for a while there. So need him to bounce back. But, you know, every chance to against Geelong, that's a huge game. They win that. They probably play finals. Who they got next round? Oh, they got Brisbane at the Gabba, so they have to win. Uh, I think we'll see a big game from Steele, hopefully. Neil was dropped off. How is he going? Five round of 89. Um, yeah, after the bite we got him in, he went nuts, and now he's just completely dropped off. Uh, I think I'm going to trade him in another format. Yeah, this isn't great. The Lions boys have dropped off. Even Dunkley. Dunkley's a bit of a strange one too, but like all of a sudden Hewitt becomes a straight field now. I don't think Chara comes back, and I'm not sure about Walsh. So I guess for our sake, hopefully they rest up Walsh for around 24. But um, yeah, Hewitt's been great. But yeah, did give us a 50 on two weeks ago. So it's pretty hard to know what you're going to get with some of these players. Uh, English Marshall Ruckline. I was a bit worried Briggs had the nice matchup who my league opponent had, but fortunately, Marshall and English went nuts. We'll get to captains in a sec. Gordon, great. Now, Butters' three round must be like 130. 137, three round. So, yeah, got him in for a bit of a sluggish few weeks. Had the groin complaint, sat on the bench and whatnot. And now it looks all good, so he's gone nuts. So he's been a great pickup now. Otherwise, was kind of worried that it was bit injured or whatever uh, Dunkley's a bit puzzling so last week his time on ground was terrible this week I don't think it was too bad three round of 90 um, now on his uh, Oz American Aces podcast I think he said like there's still a calf issue there but he just plays through it or something there's still some sort of tear there or something like that I wonder if that's the reason for this because this is like not normal 70 and 60 back to back is strange for Dunkley but uh, we can loop him and we probably will because he plays Friday night a bit annoying we can't loop Dacos but whatever uh, Rosie I'm half tempted to start Rosie as a mid only next year I think his post buy is a bit better than his pre buy like actually much better uh, I'm guessing this is like 115 without um, actually running the numbers but I think he'll be 600k in terms of mids you got like there's a lot of mids that are on the up it's why I won't start still next year I won't start Mills I don't trust Mills's role for a start uh, Tuke I'll probably start um, but you look at like the up and coming mids like that 110 range the LDU Butters Rosie Adam Chera um, given I'm probably going to take durability risk on Tuke if you want to call it that I'll probably stay away from LDU and Chera, despite the fact that they look like they can do 115, no problem, especially LDU, looks like he can do 120. Um, that's just the stubbornness in me, but I'll probably try and soften a little bit on durability, uh, put too much emphasis on it. Um, Toronto's dropped off 95, and then yeah, this Keys and Hobbs. Keys actually scored nothing in the last quarter, copped a bit of a head knock, or oh, was bleeding, had to go off and didn't really do anything after he caught that knock. So um, I don't think it was concussion related. It was, I don't know, this was bleeding from their head everywhere. So after he went off, just did nothing when he came back on. So Hobbs against the Giants away. That's one of the worst matchups for midfielders I can think of, especially with, they got Green back, Cogs, Kelly and whatnot. So I hate that matchup. Um, definitely can't straight field him. So I think we filled keys against Sydney at home. Um, 
Keys is a weird one. It's uh, 83. We're probably going to get like another 80, but um, he has a big game in him if things go his way. And on the, I think we'll loop. Maybe we can loop Dunkley and Keys together. Oh no, that doesn't work. Uh, we'll straight field Keys. We'll field Dunkley. And, we'll uh, loop Dunkley and Hobbs, I guess. Which is weird to loop Dunkley, but just a little bit concerning this form. Um, and yeah, we'll straight field Weddle again. So captains this week. I read somewhere that the Saints might be missing a... Was it Stanley? I can't remember. They're missing some Ruckman. I did see that it was Stanley Rucking, so they might not have a Ruckman. So we'll VC um, Rowan and we'll see. So it's obviously has to be a dog's mid and in terms of Bont or English, as you see for mine. And I don't think we actually have a loop. It might be marriage if he doesn't play. Otherwise, we don't actually have a loop, which is unbelievable, given we have one, two, three, four donuts. Should be five or six. Um, yes, yeah, Hewitt coming back. Sorry, not Hewitt. Roberts coming back has not been good. We need him to stay... Um, dead for next year so um oh yeah price at 30 he actually be pretty cheap rookie next year but regardless i think we'll go i don't know i'll figure it out um let's do yeah roll one into bond and Pelle. i think bond will be hungry for the three votes he'll get a look at oh the petrarca the mcg against um hawthorne i think he'll be going for three as well so they'll be going head to head for brownlow votes i guess so um yeah that's pretty much it from me uh, not much to tell. Uh, uh, FPL just started. I fielded two donuts, I think, or had Gabrielle and Stones. I didn't want to wake up before. Or I think that what it started at like lockout was like three thirty a.m. So I think Gabrielle didn't start. Stones was injured, so I missed a really disastrous start as well. So from there, but I think I had Saka who was good. Oh, Buyak. I'm not gonna say it, but Saka and. Um, Harlan captain and whatnot and defended other defenders did all right so I had Odegaard who did terrible not great so I dare say FPL it's going to be another early early quit it for me in FPL but otherwise uh, really keen for NFL sports deck um, I don't play the other uh, draft NFL which is the main one but yeah my knowledge is not deep enough I, like I only know receivers and quarterbacks and running backs in them and tight ends and whatnot so like the top ones don't know the depth um but yeah would love to have the, those um would love to have nfl at like a reasonable time to watch um in australia otherwise like get up early like nah can't be bothered um or before work anyway so and that's just like a chiefs game who i got family in kansas city so uh, that's all from me um thank you for watching and i honestly don't know what else to discuss we got our captains um next week uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Crows bloody loss. I was so pissed off at the Crows losing, but um, it is what it is. But hopefully can somehow make finals from here, but big game next week. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.